Hi everyone, it's me Darlene, and I am done the quilt top. Before I forget, this is on eBay right now. This is December 13, 2018. So if you're watching in the future, it is over. But I have it on eBay starting at one penny with free shipping for anyone in the United States. Outside of the United States, you do have to pay the shipping through eBay's shipping program. The auction will be running for one week. The link is down below in the description box and also in the pinned comment. If you bid, I wish you good luck. So let me talk a little bit about a couple of things that I have discovered. I think it's way easier to create your row and even those rows up. Sew them together, just like you would any quilt top. Put the rows together. Then if you want to make it look like there's no seam, you know, going straight across. You can just add to it. When you do it the way that I showed you, and you leave gaps, and you have to fill in the gaps, it's very easy to not catch the fabric underneath. And that's what happened to me here, and somewhere I didn't catch the fabric, and instead of, you know, taking it apart and redoing it, I just put, like, another patch over it. So I like the way it turned out, but it was just that much extra work. So I say straighten out your rows, you know, cut them, trim them so you have a nice straight edge. Sew the rows together, and then if you want, you can go in and add pieces top stitched if you want to make it look funky and wonky. Other than that, this came out great. I did go ahead and square it up. Well, I should say rectangle it up. And uh, you can see that sometimes you lose some of your print on an edge. Now I have just a little tiny bit of that fabric. But whoever wins this can put a border around it if they want. Or they could just finish it as is. I trimmed it. Let me measure it for you. It is about 32 and a half inches wide. And that's 31 doubled. So about 62 inches long. So it's a good size. If you add a nice border around it, I think that'll be just perfect. And you don't have to add a crumb quilt type border. You can just put any border that you want. And uh, I'm pretty sure anything will go with this. All right, I'm going to put this on the bed and show you and take some pictures. I'm going to take a lot of pictures so you can see the piecing. Thank you so much for watching this series. I will be back with more soon. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Bye!